Hi! Yeah, I'm back. Again. Two times in one month? I know, it's crazy. Um, just for you know, uh, I don't have a script for this. So, the Nintendo Switch Online, uh, that's a thing. That exists for some reason. At the time of recording, it'll be launching tonight. So, yeah, I do have a Switch, by the way. Uh, I might leave my friend code in the description. The Nintendo Switch Online. It's stupid. It's just... Okay, first off, profanity warning. I will be cursing. It's fucking stupid. Just... Oh my gosh. And I wrote a whole thing on this forum that I'm on. And I'll, link, I'll leave a link in the description to that. Just some history real quick. Uh, back in January, when they announced all the Switch stuff at that conference, they announced that they were going to have a paid online service, just like the big boys, Xbox Live and PlayStation Plus, except this time it's actually cheaper. It's $20 a year, which I would say is very reasonable if I wasn't an idiot, because even at $20 a year, this system... The way they have it still feels like a ripoff, and I'm going to show you how it feels like a ripoff. Okay, so um, just for the record, uh, the the video on YouTube that Nintendo put out about the online service that has um, about over twenty thousand dislikes. For comparison, it has about nine thousand likes. I haven't checked it today, but it's bad. And also, every single comment on that video is talking about how fucking stupid it is. It's just so bad. So let's just go over some of his features. Okay, first off, online play. Uh, with Xbox Live and PlayStation Plus, money from those subscriptions goes towards things like, you know, maintaining multiplayer servers and things like that. Nintendo? They don't have any multiplayer servers. Everything is peer-to-peer -peer connections between Switches. That is how it works. And that is also why they haven't implemented basic anti-cheat in games like Splatoon 2, which, by the way, are rife with hackers. It's ridiculous. I haven't experienced it firsthand, but it's it's so bad that people have literally hacked to the top of the scoreboard to complain about the lack of anti-cheat in this game. Oh, and uh, also, since it is peer-to-peer, -peer, you ever, like, played Smash Brothers and then that one guy with a bad internet connection comes in and just fucks up the game for everyone else because it's so slow because of that one guy. Yeah, expect a lot of that with Smash Ultimate and literally every other fucking game you play. Next up, the NES games. NES games is something that we have had for like freaking forever since back when Nintendo opened the virtual console service on the Wii Shop. No one cares about NES games anymore. Oh great, it's the same 20 games we played a million times. How about you give us some actual games, Nintendo? Come on, Reggie, give us Mother 3! We don't want NES games for the millionth time. We want, like, Super Nintendo games, or N64 games, or GameCube games. Things that we haven't seen every single freaking time that you have put out anything Virtual Console related. We like the NES games, but we liked them only the first time. We do not want them for the 20th time, you know? Oh, by the way, if you wanted to emulate these games instead of paying $20 a year for their online service, you can't because Nintendo went around and sued all the ROM sites and got Emu Paradise shut down. So, uh, thanks for that shit, Tendo. By the way, that, that kind of breaks my heart to say that because I love Nintendo. I bought into every single one of their freaking things that I've seen of theirs. Like, I wanted to buy a Wii U. That is how much I love them. They also announced these uh, special wireless NES controllers, which are just failures across the board. Come on, guys. You can do better. They have these Joy-Con rails on the top, so you can attach them to your system, like dock them on your Switch when it's in the dock, so you can like charge them and stuff. Uh, and they also have L and R buttons on there as well for some reason. Do you, do you guys remember when your NES controllers had L and R buttons on it? Yeah, me neither. Unless those are like turbo buttons, I don't see what's the point. They don't lock on to the system for handheld play, which sucks, because, I mean, that would look both awesome and stupid at the same time. But it'd be cool if you did that. Like, the NES D-pad. Like, that would be, like... Like, what if you had, like, an NES D-pad on the left side, and just, like, a Joy-Con on the right side, and you were just going to town with, like, Street Fighter or something? It'd be much better than that shitty Hori thing they put out. These controllers are $60 a pair. For context, that is the same price as an NES Classic. Okay, if you're a consumer, which are you gonna get? A pair of $60 controllers, that go with a $300 system 
and a $20 per year online service. Or you could have an NES Classic, which is the same price. And it's an all-in-one system. It comes with like 20 great NES games that you know your kids are going to love. And it comes with two controllers. They're wired controllers, but they're controllers. Oh, and you can't buy them unless you have an online membership. Not just the free trial. You have to pay for the membership. You have to pay Nintendo to have the honor of paying them even more. What the fuck? Next up, save data cloud backup. So, this is a feature that literally everyone asked for ever since the Switch was even announced. Because, I mean, you put like 500 plus hours of time into Zelda. You don't want to lose that. No one does. And there are people who've lost that. And it's sad. They're adding it in this online service. Thank God. But it's not only locked behind this stupid $20 a year membership paywall. And I never thought I'd be complaining about $20 a year in my lifetime. I pay more for Netflix, guys. Not only is it locked behind the membership paywall, it also excludes certain games. Remember that 500 plus hours you put into Splatoon 2 trying to get your rank up? If you lose your Switch, that's gone because they are not supporting it in their cloud backup. They are not. Why? They said, oh, uh, there's cheaters uh, who will use that to keep their score from going down or some bullshit. And we're just over here like, there are already fucking hackers in your game. Do not give us this bullshit excuse when you have a much larger problem in your game. Like, Nintendo is just turning a blind eye to hackers in their game and then they decide not to include the save data cloud backup for Splatoon 2 which, and they are just like, oh, well, people can cheat. People are already cheating and they're doing it without the save cloud backup. So shut up. Oh, and guess what other games are also going to be excluded? They're also omitting Pokemon from the save data cloud backup. That's right, the 500 plus hours you're gonna put into Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. You can't save that back up. Uh, Nintendo, their excuse for Pokemon was that people could use it to clone Pokemon. Or, you know, get Pokemon back that they just traded away. I really think that Nintendo has more to worry about than people cloning Pokemon. Name one person in the history of anything who have cared about people cloning Pokemon. It's not that big of a deal. They, they see a Pokemon. They don't care if it's cloned. They're like, oh hey, a Pokemon. Here's the one I wanted to complete my collection. There we go. And no one's gonna use it to clone Pokemon anyway. No one does that. Yes. Let's just clone all the Poliwhirls. Because they're so special. Yeah, it, it pissed a lot of people off because, you know, they put a lot of time into these games. And now they just found out that if they lose their Switch, or it gets bricked, or they stick it into a third-party dock, it's gonna be gone forever. Next up, voice chat. And I'm gonna move away from the microphone so that I don't destroy this computer. Or the microphone. You still have to use the shitty phone app! You still have to use their phone app. You know, the one that sucks. The one that no one likes. The one where you can't even rotate into landscape mode. It's stupid. Just give us voice chat on the system. And we, we've told Nintendo this. And they're like, oh, well, you know, there's kids. And they're, they're going to get into an online match. And people are going to yell at them. And call them curse words. And shit like that. And it's like, Nintendo. You have parental controls on this system, just make that part of parental controls, it's not hard! Use some freaking knowledge! Hey, hey guess who did it? Guess who did it better than Nintendo? Guess who did voice chat better than Nintendo? Xbox! In 2004, for the original Xbox, they had voice chat on the system, and it was easy to use. Everyone liked it. They even had voice modulators if you wanted to disguise yourself. It was cool, and Nintendo just apparently can't do that because they're like oh we don't really care about voice chatter online but hey you guys want this thing so we're just gonna give you a hack baked version of it this is why people use discord but we shouldn't have to use discord it should just be on the system i should just be able to ring up my friend through the friend system which by the way they're still using friend codes instead of just usernames like freaking everything else it's making us jump through highly unnecessary loopholes and it's not like they can't add voice chat to the system there are games on the switch that already have system inbuilt voice chat of course that game is fortnite and that game sucks but it is a sad day when fortnite is able to do something better than nintendo a company who has been in this race of video games since like the 80s so yeah um that's the switch online service 20 dollars a year I think I'll pass. 
So yeah, that's my opinion on the Switch Online service. I think it's fucking stupid, and everyone else agrees with me. That is it for my video, my highly unscripted video that will be highly edited by the time you listen to it. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.